Welcome back to the news for the week ending September 8th, 2017. Uh, a couple of things to mention this week. Starting with the arrest of three men in Japan for scanning One Piece. Uh, that's right, they were taking chapters of One Piece and uh, uh, scanning them up and posting them online. Uh, they arrested three, I should say men, uh, I said men, um, uh, one was a female, I believe, and uh, yeah, all three arrested for doing this. Now, you may say, before you get uh, you know, too upset at the idea of just scanning this stuff, they were getting copies of Weekly Shonen Jump um, before they were scheduled to be published, so they were somehow managing to break street date, scanning them and uploading them onto a website where they made money. They, the police claim they earned up to about uh, over half a million dollars through website ads for their scans. Um, and this was something that they've been doing for a little over a year, uh, as of uh, July 2016 was when they started, apparently. Uh, they claim that um, uh, one of the individuals, Ryoji Hoktai, may have earned up to $2.8 million from the site over three years. So this is not just, you know, scanning something, putting it up on a scanlation site. This is, you know, making a lot of money off of somebody else's scans. So that's not cool. And uh, we will see where that goes. <clears throat> cool thing, though, Arya's Kickstarter has done extremely well. Nozomi Entertainment started this Kickstarter a while ago to do uh, an English dub for an HD release of Arya the Animation. They have now through stretch goals, uh, gotten to, uh, gotten the money to do dubs for not only Aria the Animation, but also Aria the OVA Arietta, Aria the Origination, and Aria the Avenir, which it hasn't even been licensed or released outside of Japan yet. So, yeah, um, lots of stuff funded through this Kickstarter, which is cool. Um, uh, they've raised well over $300,000 on, on this Kickstarter so far. And uh, so the important thing is Kickstarters can actually make this kind of money and get this kind of stuff done, which is really cool. So keep an eye out for those Kickstarters. You can get some really cool stuff done and made that way. Uh, moving on, a surprise announcement. The, art, the actress Emi Take is pregnant and she uh, is married to, or recently married, to Takahiro, member of the band Exile. She may be happy, but the people she makes contracts worth, uh, with are not necessarily. Uh, it is very common in Japan for actresses to have pregnancy clauses in their contracts because, you think about it, if you're contracted to work on um, um, a, say a TV series in eight months and you get pregnant now, um, that's going to affect what you look like and uh, your ability to perform, your ability to just kind of get stuff done, um, potentially at that point. So uh, the various people involved in her contracts have said that they're going to you know, review her contracts and, and see if this impacts them. Uh, what's interesting about that that has come out is that um, uh, there are, she, she has agreements with up to 10 companies for commercials as well as other things. And they noticed that her um, uh, her role as Kaoru in the Uroni Kenshin films is one that cannot be written out. Like, she has to be in them. We thought they finished all the Uroni Kenshin live-action films. So apparently there are more on their way because she's contracted to be in them. Uh, pretty cool. We will see if that progresses and if we can see more Kenshin live-action films. Uh, if you want to see a good live-action adaptation of something, that's the one right there. So interesting sort of surprise out of that. Um, also coming more Gundam The Origin. There's been some news about this. Uh, Gundam The Origin being a prequel to the original Gundam anime series. And there have been some rumors floating around that they, they would like to continue that through the story of original Gundam. And the original character designer, Yoshikazu Yasuhiko, has stated at a screening that there will be more of Gundam The Origin and that he wants it to go into the One Year War arc next. Now the question is whether this will be a remake of the original Mobile Suit Gundam anime series, or it will be a retelling of certain events in the original Gundam series. Who knows, I'm, I bet on the latter. But that's kind of interesting, the, the idea that there is there will now be a way for fans to get into original Gundam, uh, certainly a landmark anime work. 
through more recent animation. We'll see. Uh, anyway, been a, kind of a light week this week. That is all the news for this week. Hope this has been helpful, and I will see you hopefully next time. Have a good weekend.